hi guys what's up welcome to this new video and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to install a login and registration page on your website so i'm going to use this website as you can see as an example this website i just you know installed it and i want to install a login and registration form now this is very important if you want to make sure that your website has a list of members now people can register on your website and log in anytime they have they want you know to enjoy exclusive offer and you can also use this plugin i'm going to show you to restrict contents that you want only your users to access now let me show you an example of what i'm talking about now this is a website that i just i'm still working on for a client and uh, i installed the plugin um, the plugin I'm going to show you um, on this website and it's working accurately now let me show you this stuff um, because I'm already logged in let me show you this stuff in an incognito window so that you know exactly what I'm talking about so on this website I've installed the plugin already and I've done it already so let's say a user is coming to this website and is interested with what he or she is seeing and um, wants to register on this website so you can click on this register button here and it's going to take them to a page where they can register as you can see on the screen so right here they can enter their username their first name their last name and uh, so on and so forth they can enter their email address and their phone numbers their password and everything you need to know so this is how you create this um, registration page and um, after they have registered they can have an account so the account will look something similar to um, this so let me click on login so that i can show you real quick what i'm talking about so i'm already logged in in this account i've registered with this one so it's going to pull up uh, my account and ask me to log in um, to see my profile so as you can see here it says my account yes once i click on it it's going to take me straight to my account and i can see my profile okay so it's still loading up yes this is it on the screen this is my profile and uh, everything is here ready to go remember with this plugin like i told you you can add more features to whatever you want you can restrict content your blog you just want some certain part of your blog to be restricted you can do everything with this um, plugin so my name is kingsley before i show you everything from this um, channel can go in at this com okay so you can subscribe to my channel turn on the bell icon because i drop awesome videos here to make your life simple with your business okay so um we are going to log into the back end of this website this one so just go to the back end um i believe you already have a wordpress website so once you're at the back end now what you want to do is go to this plugins then go to add new uh once you click on add new it's going to load up and um, what we want to search for now is the blog is the plugin okay so i'm going to give you the name of the plugin now the name of the plugin is called ultimate member so just search for ultimate member okay so guys the name of the plugin like i said again is ultimate member okay so once you search for ultimate member yeah once you search for ultimate member this is the plugin this first one here ultimate member user profile user registration login and membership plugin guys this is awesome so install it now and after installing it um, we need to activate so it's installed now we need to activate it okay so we just click on activate and um, it's going to be activated now once it's activated you are going to go down so we just go down to this um okay still loading okay yes once it's activated you are going to see this um, ultimate member here so once you see this ultimate member here just hover on it and go to dashboard now once we are on the dashboard we are literally not going to see anything on the dashboard because we just installed this okay so as you can see everything is zero 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 there's only one user which is the admin so now we need to go to settings okay to set this thing up real quick so go to settings and it has created so now it hasn't created any page okay before we go for that this um, plugin has, hasn't created any page now if you want this plugin to create custom pages all those login page registration page account page logout page password and the rest of them you're going to see this um this notice here which says create page or pages 
so just click on this create pages and it's going to automatically create the page and fix them here as you can see here it has fixed all these pages to the appropriate ones so we don't have much work to do here all we just need to do is to click on save changes now once we click on save changes we want to do something real quick now we want to go to this access now this is where we can restrict content so if you want to restrict your blog post or you want to restrict anything you can do that here now this is what um, the user will see whenever they try to you know uh, visit a page that is restricted so it's going to show them this message so your your message can be anything but i just want to say something this is a demo okay so you want to put something nice here like um, this is a restricted page login to gain access something like that it's very very specific now once you've done that now it's going to ask you what do you want to restrict so you want to restrict your post if you don't want to restrict your post just toggle it off but i want to restrict my post my pages and i also want to restrict my categories okay uh you can also say you want to restrict tags you can also restrict media that means your videos or your um audios and you can also restrict landing page and um, template whatever you want to restrict is here so once you've selected everything you want to restrict so click on save changes now you might not necessarily want to restrict these things but you need to click on it so that whenever you want to restrict them it's going to be very easy for you so now um that's it that one so the next thing we want to do now is go to these emails now this is what we are going to do. we are going to set up an automation here so avoid spam because a lot of people can spam you if you don't do this okay so and we don't want spamming okay so as you can see this option here which is saying account activation email so we want to make sure that anybody that comes to our website uh, and register they, are, they should be able to confirm the email address before they can be able to gain access to becoming a member on our website and this is what we allow us to do it automatically without you having to cross check but if you decide to manually check it of course there are options here as you can see this manual approval or account rejection whatever you can set it up but for now i'm just only going to set up this account activation email so just click on it and so once we click on it, it's going to bring us to a new page where we just need to select and after selecting it let me select it again okay it's still loading uh -huh. so after selecting it it's going to show you a template this is what the email will look like your site's name thank you for signing up please click the following link to activate your account so i'm fine with it and it's making sense all you just need to do is to click on save changes so the changes will be saved now we've created that automation and it's very very simple real quick now what we want to do right now is to make sure the, these pages are live on the front end of our website so that because right now all those pages are available but they can't easily access them because we haven't put them on the menu so now what we need to do now is to go to appearance and uh, go to menu okay i believe you are getting value from this video so once we are here at um menus um uh, there are a whole lot of menus here so i'm just going to create a new menu um okay and give this menu a name i'll just call this uh, m1t uh menu one test i just want to you know call this whatever i want then uh i'll set it as a primary menu and uh yeah primary menu is okay and click on create menu so once i click on create menu it's going to create um the menus for me the logic okay so it's created the menu now i need to come here select m1 menu as a primary menu and click on select so now i'm going to add content to this menu now okay so i'm going to add content to the menu so now to do that we need to add some pages one page we need to add is this account page the logout page the members page the registration page the login page the users page if you want now remember this is based on what you want you can select it so you can also install the contact page and uh, uh, a whole lot of other pages if you want anyone you want it okay anyone you want sorry so once you you've added all this page just click on this add to menu and um, it's going to add all these pages to menu okay so you can rearrange them you can make anyone the way you want it but i'm literally going to leave it this way and click on save menu so once we save menu everything will be live on our website so let's go back to the website this is the website now 
uh, let me make sure it has saved okay this is the website now if i refresh this website this menu is going to change and um yes it has changed and now we can have our members create an account on our website for example if anybody wants to create an account if they click on this um, register if they click on this register it's going to pull up a form as you can see it says i'm already registered because I've, i'm logged in already okay it's telling me this because i'm logged in already so let me go to an incognito window to show you real quick what i'm talking about okay so this is the website and i don't want to log in now i just want to visit this stop as a visitor so once it's we are here we can click on this register again and it's going to pull up as you can see this is the form okay this is the form we need so anybody can come here and create an account right now and they can log in they can also view members and their account is also available i believe you gain value from this video if you want me to do anything for you this is how you install a user um stuff for you uh, on your website is very simple if you want me to do any video for you tell me in the comment section and i'll do that video for you guys i'll see you guys in the next video stay blessed okay i'll see you guys later thank you